Hello everybody, it's Linda and I'm back to share another project with you. I have made this mixed media Finnebear style canvas using an image of my son Odin and uh, um, some chipboards, some gears, metal gears, some metal chipboards. Um, all of these chipboards here are die cuts uh, from Tim Holtz dies. I've used some charms and I have used Lindy Stamp Gang colors, I have used dilutions, I have used Tim Holtz Distress Stains, um, I've used uh, texture paste, this is like a sandy kind of texture paste and um, this is just um, some like creepy cloth uh, type of thing like cheesecloth and um, uh, some ordinary um, like uh, what's it called? Cardstock die cuts. Uh, it's from a memory box die. I have layered um, all of this onto canvas board. And uh, here is like a bicycle charm. My charms I buy from eBay and Etsy sellers. And you just search for the charms that you want and make sure you, you agree with the shipping before you purchase. And... Um, the image of my son was uh, mounted on some chipboard and I have uh, glued it down use to the chipboard using Mod Podge and I also Mod Podged over it so that when I sprayed I could wipe it off his face and you know so the his shirt is colored in the same kind of color scheme that the rest of the canvas board is and I have used some trinkets from Prima here and there and some Tim Holtz stuff and uh, yeah it was really a lot of fun to make and this is just a a punch paper punch from EK Success this chain punch here and there and uh, I've also used uh, Inca Gold to color this and these canvases are like a lot of fun to make and you you know you can hardly go wrong <laughs> because it's all about the texture and the colors and just choose a couple of colors for your you know your main project and and then you just add some some like sparkle to it by using inca golds or rub on uh no not rub ons what's it called and uh, yeah i'll try to show you some of the details and this and if you see it like from the side you can see the some of the layering and it is really dimensional the whole thing and I went around the edge using black paint that I just dabbed on using a sponge so um, I have filmed uh, the process of making this but then I thought, okay, listen guys, there are so many wonderful artists and uh, scrappers that has done this previously and you can find so many videos on how to do this. And also Finna Bear, who I guess came up with this method and this way of doing things. Uh, she also teaches classes and she's got wonderful tutorials for this as well. Uh, but you know, the main thing is just have fun with what you have. Um, if you only have like die cuts, uh, ready die cuts, you can just make so many wonderful, cool things with already made die cuts. If you have your own dies, use your dies and, you know, add whatever. I got the brick pattern using, like I said, a sandy texture paste, this really rough texture paste. And I just put it on here using a stencil and uh, yeah so it's really really not difficult at all and it's just so much fun to play with so hope you are inspired and uh, I will see I'll probably find some of the cool um, tutorials for this and link to them below and uh, if you have a tutorial for something like this just you know give send me a, a message and let me know about it and I can link to it so that we can you know share the resources available 
for teaching this style with uh, with the others okay so uh, thank you so much for watching have a wonderful wonderful day and I hope to see you again soon take care bye bye okay so I've got a lot of stuff here and I know I will not use all of it but uh, I just gather stuff that I think I can use these are die cuts full Tim Holtz Biggs dies and uh, metals and things and so I will I also have some cheesecloth and I'm going to glue that down randomly and uh, add some more texture to, to the uh, board first before I start placing all of this craziness and um, yeah some liquid glue to glue it down to this mud podge. It's like some color, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be coloring everything here anyway. And now I'm going to cut some thinner gears, not from chipboard, but just from cardstock. And I'm going to add them to this. It's this. And it doesn't matter which color you choose. Since, like I said, we're going to paint over everything anyway, so. Good. And now I just need to think about where I want these gears to peek out. I want some of them down there. So.
Now this just needs to dry before I start gluing down more stuff. So um, the canvas board is drying and I got this rusty paper from Vivercore and the colors that I want to use on my canvas board is uh, like rust uh, blacks and turquoise and we'll see if I can use this. I have never tried this. This is a fairly new product I think. Like I said, Viva Decor Rusty Paper and we'll see how this is. Wow, this is really rich. We'll see. I just want to go ahead and paint some on the gear to see how it looks when it's dry and see what I can achieve from this. whatever you have. I like to use a spatula. You can add it using your credit card even. It's just a lot cooler when it's textured, I think. So I'm going to do that to the other gears. about this technique is that you can use like absolutely whatever you have and glue it down it doesn't matter if it's chipboard or like what do you call them wood veneers I'm going to check my stash for some wood veneers too in case I have some and or I know I have some but I mean in case I have some that I can use for this. So those were my die cuts. Now they can dry. And I'm looking for wood, wood veneers. So I got out some of my wood veneers and they're from different sellers. I know these light ones, they are from Prima. So I also have some awesome cool chipboard pieces from Gina's Design and I'll link to her shop below and she sells these amazing sets of chip pieces. I'm totally going to use this so you just have to poke out the little extras and you can see that I'm just going to keep that ring in there and yeah this is going to look incredibly cool. So again, adding my texture and I will also add texture to this ring, but not to the clock face because I want all the little numbers here. They're Roman numbers and I want them to show. I'm just going to poke these out with my poking tool. I've got some metal leaves and I also want to, and then I will use my fingers and I add some texture and I rub off some to the leaves, you know just to grunge them up a bit. I took 
late if you forget to add texture and you find out that oh no I need some texture on it just dab some on when it's laying there to dry and I will just add some of the paste here and there for some added texture you know some of this will not show for sure because I'm going to cover up a lot of it and Odin's picture is also going on here so you know but some of it will show and that will look great okay again let this dry let this old thing dry So now that it's all dry, I will start just coloring. And since I have never done this before, I will just start spraying and see what that looks like and then we'll take it from there.